Hey, this is RR from FinSuite, and in this video, we are going over the FinSuite CMS library for Webflow. And in particular, we're going over one of the most popular tools, which is the filter tool. In this video, we're gonna learn how to set up the filter tool and how to modify it so that you can filter through all your different collections in your CMS. So we're in our designer and we're going to go ahead and start our filtering. Now, before we begin, I just want to let you know that the filtering, there's so much things that you can do with it. It's so extensive that we decided to actually put it into two videos instead of just one. In this video, we're going to be tackling how to set up the filtering to have exclusive filtering and multi filtering. And then on the next video is combining those types of filtering, having search filtering and even adding radio buttons and um, other factors like that to your filtering. So this video is more just about setting up the filtering, which is a little more extensive than some of the previous ones. And then the next video is adding some more features to our filtering. So let's go ahead and get started on setting up our filter. We're in our Webflow designer. This is the CMS that we've been working on. We created this in video number two, and we're going to go ahead and put the filtering system on this. Now, before we do that, we need to add some factors into our CMS. And let me show you what I've already added. Okay. So if you go to our CMS collections right here and then go to our products, so we'll click one of them. Well, let's go click the gear button right here. If you notice, I added an option, which is color. And if I click that, there are three colors that I inputted, which is purple, red, and black. And it's really simple how to do that. All you have to do is go to add new field. And then what I did, you could do text. What I did was an option and you do option. You could do, you could add the name and then you just add the options right here. Okay. So that is how you add the color option. And if you notice, if we go to our CMS items, you see it right here where the color is purple. I did three colors, purple, red, and black. Now, some of them I made purple, this one I made red, this one I made black, and so on and so forth. I did the same thing to the pictures, which was the logo is purple, the hummingbird is red, the cheetah is black, I know that's not really their color. I kind of just did these filters so that um, we're able to filter through them. And I just kind of decided this would be the best filter option. Okay. So we already have our CMS ready to go. And then we'll go back to our designer and we'll go ahead and set up our filter wrapper. Now this is going to be the box or the container where we're going to be putting our filtering options. Now, remember, you're able to style this however you see fit, however you need to. We're going to do a basic styling to add this filter wrapper. So we'll go ahead and go to the layers and we'll go add. We will add a container. If you notice, our containers are named container. So I'm going to go ahead and name it container as well so that automatically it's the same size as the other containers and we're going to have, you know, something uniform. Okay. Now I'm going to add some padding on the bottom, some margins on the bottom. If you notice, I don't, I want to, first of all, add a secondary class, um, just because we want to, we don't want to modify this one. So I'm going to go and put here container with a secondary class of margin hyphen bottom. And then let's put around 50 pixels underneath. And so if you notice, I only added uh, 50 pixels underneath here, but not on this one, even though they're the same class name container, because this, um, this container right here is a different class. It doesn't have the class name margin bottom. So now we have this, we're going to add a div inside that a div block, and we're going to call this filter hyphen wrapper filter wrapper. Now I want you to remember that. And by the way, when you are putting class names, if this is going to be on the code, which we're going to put on our visual script writer, you want to make sure that you have hyphens so that the code can recognize it. Okay. 
So filter hyphen wrapper is what we're going to call this. And we're going to add our buttons in this wrapper. So we'll go ahead and put a button right here. We want to center it. So let's go ahead and put the center right there. And then let's style this button. Well, first of all, we'll make, we'll make this one purple. So we're going to call this um, filter button. And then we're going to change the text to purple. Now I want to change some things here to make it, you know, consistent with the styling. Of course, we want to make sure it's actually purple. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to give it a transparent background so that, and let me save this color here. Whenever you have colors that you're going to frequently use over time, it's probably good to save it so that you just click it right there. Great tool, by the way, added by Webflow. And we're going to make the background, instead of that purple, would be just transparent. And we're going to add a line around it, which is also purple. It's a little too thin for our liking. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the text a little bigger. We're going to make it the same font as the others, which is kind of this, I think. And then let's make it bold. There you go. And then we'll make the width of the line a little bit thicker. And that looks about right. So this is going to be filter button. And what we're going to do, we're going to copy this two times. So we have three filters because remember, we have three colors, purple, red and black. Okay. Now, of course, we don't like this. It's all stuck together. So we're going to add some margin, about 10 pixels on the left, 10 pixels on the right. And then what we're going to do right now, we're going to change the colors of these filters to the appropriate color. What we're going to do is we're going to actually have it where when you hover, it's a certain color. And then when you click it, it stays at that certain color. What do you mean by that? Right now, it's an outline. But when you hover over purple, we're going to make it that once you hover, the text is white and the background will be this color as well. Before we do that, let's go ahead and add a secondary class on this one. We're going to call it purple. You want to make sure you put the secondary class so that when you change this color, it doesn't change this color as well. So we're going to make this one filter button red. And then let's go ahead and change up the colors. So let's go for a red color. That looks about right. And then we'll make the outline as well the same color. And of course, we got to change the text to red. And then we'll do this one for the button, add a secondary class, black. And then we'll make this one just black. Change the outline as well black. Now we have our filter buttons. Before we do that, we're going to add a hover state just so we can make it a little nicer. So let's do the hover state. And what we're going to do here, we're going to make the text white and make the background purple so that when we hover, it looks like that. Okay. Now we can add some transitions and all those things, but we'll go ahead and just do that later. Same thing. We'll make this white. Make the background crim uh, red. This one, oh, I forgot to change the text here. Black, there you go. This one, we're gonna, um, on the hover, we're gonna make the text white. And then we're gonna make the background black. So now you see here, we have our hover states and this is what we want, okay? Now, you may say, we're gonna later need an active state and I'm gonna show you how we can do that. So let's go ahead and add our filtering. First of all, we'll go to Visual Script Writer on our CMS docs from FinSuite. We'll go ahead and go here. This is our Visual Script Writer. This is your best friend. And we'll go to Filter. Now, if you notice, I actually already have names here. Before we do that, actually go to CMS this class. And remember our collection list name. You want to put it here, which is dot collection hyphen list. Okay. Now filter wrapper is what we want to put here because this 
was the wrapper that we named right here, right? Filter hyphen wrapper. So we're gonna put that right here as well. Notice the filter wrapper name, you wanna put it here. And for now, we're gonna make it exclusive. So, and what, what exclusive means is that you can't select multiple factors in filtering. You only can select one at a time. So now that we have this, we're actually gonna add one more, which is the combine. Why do we wanna do that? Because remember, when we initially made this, we, we've been creating this, we added a combined feature, which is this right here, and we want to be able to combine both of them into one thing, and you'll see how the filter is able to filter through both of them because they have been combined. So now that we have these two factors, let's copy the code. Let's go back to our designer, click the page, click the gear icon, and add it before the body. Or the right top here there we go now we'll go ahead and click save and we'll see how it is right now right now it's still not going to work but what i want to check out is to make sure that it's combining really quick and remember you can't check it on the um on the preview mode you have to go to the actual site and if you notice it's combined good but the filter still doesn't work we already put the code. Why is that? Well, we need to put one last thing on the buttons itself. We need to tell the buttons what it will be filtering through. So we'll go ahead and click this one right here. We're going to go to the gear icon and go to custom attributes. Click the plus button on the custom attributes. And the name, well, the name is going to be this. You need to remember this is filter hyphen by. And then the value would be purple. And then we're going to do the same thing in the other buttons. Filter hyphen by, but this one's red. And then this one, get the, go to the gear icon attributes. And then the value is black. And before this works as well, we need to add the CMS um, determination into this collection item itself. As you see, I went ahead and added it here, but I'm gonna show you how I added this. I'm gonna delete this real quick because now that the we've communicated to the button that is gonna be looking for that filter purple, filter red, filter black, but we need to determine which items have those colors. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna copy this. I just wanna kinda of keep the same text, but um, a little bit different. So we're gonna copy this, uh, Control C and then Control V. And I'm gonna make this, the factor for this one will be color. So we get this text from the 50 products, but instead of description, it'll be color. And then we'll change it a little bit to make it look different. I'm gonna add a secondary class called bold because we don't wanna change the original one. And then we have right there, all I did was change the um, the weight to bold. And that's what's awesome about CMS, right? Instead of having us having to do it to every single thing, we can just do it to one thing, it'll update everything else. We're going to do the same thing to these ones as well. And then we're going to add bold. We're going to click the gear icon right here and make the text to get the text from color. Okay, now we have our colors. We're gonna publish it, and then let's hope it works. So we have our CMS combined. We'll click purple. If you notice, here are all the purple CMS items. If we click red, here are all the red CMS items. And if we get black, here are all the black CMS items. And if you notice, because of the combined uh, tool as well, we have been a we were able to filter through both collection lists. Even though they're a totally separate collection list, we're able to filter through both of them. Now, right now, as it stands, you're only able to select one at a time. And also, one thing, it could get kind of confusing because you don't know where you're at. If you click purple, we are in purple, but once you hover out of it, it doesn't show the purple being active. You click red where it, it can see the word in red, but doesn't show up here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a filter active, what I like to call 
button modification, okay? So now that's a little hack that we need to do. It's a little bit more complicated. We just have to add a new page and add that button modification. So we'll go ahead and close this, go back to our thing, to our designer, our thing, and then click the page icon. We're gonna add a new page. We're gonna call this page button mods. That's what we're gonna call it, button mods. And we'll go back to the old page, click one of the buttons, this one's filter button purple. We're gonna copy this and then go back to the button mod page and we'll paste it right in here. Now, I don't want it sticking onto the top. That's just me. That's my little OCD working here. So I'm gonna add some padding on the left and right so it's a little more there, okay? Now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add a, uh, another class, a third class called filter hyphen active. Now you need to remember that name. Make sure you remember that name. This is what we want the button to look like when the button is active, okay? So what we're gonna do right now is we're going to make the color of the text white. It's gonna be kind of the same as the hover, if you remember that one. So now we know that when it's active, it's gonna be at this color. Now we're gonna do the rest in the other buttons as well. So we're gonna click this one, copy it, go back here, go back here, paste it, and then we're gonna add the class filter active, make the text color white, background color red, and then one last one would be the black one. Copy it, go to button mods, and then add, make sure, don't forget this, always add filter active. If you don't, if you forget this, if you don't add it, you're gonna end up messing up the other button as well because these classes work together. background black. Okay, now we have our modifications. Let's go ahead and publish this. So now that we have our button modifications, which is our filter hyphen active, you wanna remember that name, by the way. Let's go ahead and go back to our main page. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna modify the code a little bit. So go back to the visual script writer. I believe this would be the best way. And go to active class. On our active class, add the period filter hyphen active. And you see it adds it there. You can do, you have two choices. You can just go ahead and grab this and then add it to where it's supposed to be. Or if not, you copy the whole code, just replace the whole code again, which is a lot of times I just do. So I don't have to look for it. So I'll go ahead and copy, paste the whole code and then save. We'll publish it. And let's visit the actual website. And then, if you notice now, whenever it's active, that's what stays. And so we went ahead and set up our filtering. Isn't that beautiful? If you click out of that, it goes back to the default, which is everything. Now, that is exclusive filtering. How do we do multi filtering? Well, check this out. It's so easy. Go to visual script writer and I'm going to actually show you, you don't even have to, but I'm going to show you if you want to. Okay. Go to visual script writer instead of exclusive click multi. If you notice the only thing that changed is this text right here from exclusive to multi. You have two choices. You can go ahead and copy the whole code, paste it all over again, or just go back to the page, click the gear, go all the way down, and just instead of exclusive, type multi. Click save, publish, and then let's see if this works, if the filtering is now multi. Click purple, click red, and then now you see we have all our purple and red stuff here. Click black. We have all three items. If you unclick purple, 
that we just have red and black. If you unclick red and click purple, we just have purple and black, and then just click out of all of them, so on and so forth. And that is really how easy it is to set up the filtering. I know this video was a little bit longer, but now that you had the filter set up, on the next video, we're gonna talk about all the other things that you can do with filtering. And that is how you start setting up the filter tool for your CMS. On the next video, we're gonna go over some different filtering options that you have, most specifically the search by filter option. That's effing sweet.